Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently 
with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days when he was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Please stand. of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John, the disciples of the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered him, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom, they have they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of uncertain cloth on an old clock. If he does, its fullness falls away. The new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine 
into the old wine skins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into the fresh wine skins. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. My dear brothers and sisters, we are now in the second week and ordinary time. As we continue our spiritual journey and we nourish it every day by our prayers, by our daily mass, and most we do is to attend our obligation, that is Sunday Mass. We celebrate the Holy Eucharist. We celebrate the Holy Sacrifice. Sacrifice, my dear brothers and sisters, which Jesus is the High Priest, offer Himself as a sacrifice to God the Father. And our first reading of today, as we heard, shows us Christ is the priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. He is the son who, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all of him. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, Ibinibigay po sa atin si Jesus upang makita natin ang Diyos. Ipinagkakaisa tayo sa pamamagitan niya. Ang ating Panginoong Jesus ay naging handog para sa ating Ama, para sa ating ding lahat na dapat din natin gayahin sa ating buhay. Ang paghahandog ay isang tunay na nagpapakita at kumikilala sa ating Panginoon. Ang ganiwa ni Jesus sa atin mga kapatid, paghahandog sa Ama upang tayo'y maligtas, upang tayo'y makasama at makapiling ng ating Panginoon. Mother, brothers and sisters, we have Jesus now in our daily life. We are enjoying the presence of Christ na sa atin po si Jesus. Sa Banala Eucharistia ang ating ginagawa sa ating buhay bilang pagkilala sa Diyos nakakasama po natin si Jesus Jesus is always with us Jesus is present among us and we have to experience His real presence among us every day. ipinapakilala sa atin ang paghahandog ay pakikibahagi sa bangkwete na ibinibigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Mother, brothers and sisters, our Eucharist now is a banquet prepared for us that all of us are invited to partake, to celebrate with our Lord. Mga kapatid, ito ay isang biyaya para sa atin na ibinibigay sa atin. We are all expected to share in His banquet prepared for us. But in our gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, they were talk about fasting. People came to Jesus and objected, Why do the disciples of John and the Pharisees, the disciples of the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. Ang pag-aayuno po ay isang usapin sa kanila. Dahil si ang mga alagad ni Jesus ay hindi sumusunod sa pag-aayuno. Mother, brothers, and sisters, following their tradition, fasting was this important for them. Fasting, in the manner of the Pharisees, they considered them as a devotion to the ceremonial law and even a virtue in which pleased to God. Ginagawa nila iyon para makita sila ng Panginoon na kalugod-lugod. At kung minsan itong pag-aayunong ito, mga kapatid, sa mga pareseyo ay panlabas lamang na ginagawa, hindi sa panloob na katayuan ng kanyang sarili ang pag-aayuno. 
my dear brothers and sisters, the attitude of the parish is somehow only superficial, panlabas lamang, o ginagawa lang mang ito upang tumupad sa kanilang mga tradisyon o mga batas bilang mga hudyo. My dear brothers and sisters, it is a value of an attitude of humility and discipline. In this, my dear brothers and sisters, fasting in a positive effect, spiritually in inner self, fasting gives us a sign of a deeper commitment to realize spiritual growth and maturity in Him. My dear brothers and sisters, we are also invited to fast, but in the condition of inner fasting, in which in our gospel today, in our celebration today, reminds us that this fasting gives us a positive effect in our spiritual commitment that we are maturing enough, knowing and embracing our Lord. However, mother, brothers, and sisters, in our gospel today, can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? Kung ikaw po ay naimbitahan sa isang kasalan, papayag po ba tayo na hindi kakain at tayo'y mag-aayuno? If we are belong to that celebration, you are one in that celebration, are you willing to fast? Ano po kayang sagot natin? Mother, brothers, and sisters, this is a question that we raise in our gospel today. What would be our answer? For sure, mother, brothers, and sisters, we are not conformed with this. Wedding banquet is the time, it's not a time for fasting, but for celebration. Yet, Jesus does continue and say that there will eventually be time for fasting too. When the bridegroom taken away from them, then they will fast on that day. Mother, brothers, and sisters, Jesus tells us to understand, to understand His presence to us. With the presence of Jesus, we experience the true meaning of joy, peace, mercy, love, and many more. That's truly our assurance to Him. Don't be confused about this. Jesus is real to us every day, my dear brothers and sisters. Jesus is with us. Always give us a new light to mature in Him. Fasting is a one way that we do or to observe leading to embrace, to grow intimately with Christ. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, it is a reality of a deeper commitment to realize genuine spiritual growth and maturity in Him. Mga kapatid, hindi po masamang mag-ayuno, pero sa pag-aayunong ito, dapat dinadala tayo upang tayo magbago, upang tayo makaroon ng ugnayan sa ating Panginoon. At kung natagpuan natin si Jesus sa ating pag-aayuno, totoong ang ginagawa natin. Hindi ito panlabas at hindi ito palabas lamang sa ating mga sarili-sarili. And this is the invitation for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters. We are invited to be real in the presence of Christ. We stand in the presence of Christ, which brings us into a deeper commitment and spiritual growth with Him. Sana po sa ating pong pagdarasal, ibinigay sa atin si Jesus, naghain si Jesus sa atin, naghandog si Jesus sa atin, at tayo din lahat ay marunong maghandog upang tayo'y makasama niya habang buhay sa buhay na walang hanggan, the eternal life, the banquet in heaven. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, 
Christ came. Let us pray to God, our Father, that He may bring us closer to the values of the gospel, to renew the church and in the world. And every petition we say, Lord of the banquet, renew us. Lord of the banquet, renew us. That the church, the people of God and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of the banquet, banquet renew us. us. That those who are invested with executive, legislative, and judicial functions in society may consistently place the good of human beings above legalistic concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the banquet, banquet renew, renew us. us. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the banquet, banquet, renew us. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the banquet, banquet, renew us. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the banquet, banquet, renew us. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as a new people set free by the love of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving self your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you have poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that the is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guarded to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the youth of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth on as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the very source of our life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say the word, the word my and my soul shall be, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe, quiet, and alive. Please stand. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those who have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.